I do an annual dinner with Robert Kirkman uh, at Comic Con, San Diego Comic Con, and uh, we were joking around, and he said something about us doing a DC special with Jeff Johns, and he was like, where's the love? And I was like, I can do this, I would love to do this, I, I, I don't believe you really want to do this. And he was like, I want to do it, and it just spiraled into the fact that we were doing this and making a, a Walking Dead special. The cool thing about the show is it takes the walkers so seriously, you know. Zombies in general have become kind of a kind of a joke uh, trope and it, you know, went back to kind of the origins of old, you know, I walked with a zombie and Night of the Living Dead and just kind of took that and ran with how terrifying that, that would be. And they were one of the first to do the no one's safe. Like you have a favorite character, tough shit, because <laughs> he might die. Seth and myself and a lot of the writers were all fanboys. I mean, we're still, we're still fanboys from that comic book world. So, um, yeah, it was just, it, 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 was, it became a passion project for all of us just knowing this world. Looking for something, friend? Mm -hmm. Yeah, gas. Early on, I think we were, you know, we were all kind of just throwing stuff at the wall until we kind of hit what felt like the right tone for the show. One of the things we do in the first week or so of writing is you get out everything that everyone else is gonna make fun of too. You know, every parody, or, you know, get rid of all the stuff that's kind of low hanging fruit and then get into it. Let's find you a saddle. I prefer if you ride me raw dog. What? How bad do you want that gas? Production wise, it was just a, a real challenge to try to make it look like The Walking Dead and less like Robot Chicken. I had a lot of conversations with some of the producers who were sort of in charge of the handouts to directors on, you know, what lenses they use and how they set up shots and when they show the ceiling and when they don't. And so there's a lot of like technical stuff that I just wanted to download before we shot a frame of it or even storyboarded it. So this is a musical number parodying the Terminus scene in The Walking Dead where the heroes come upon Terminus and they're greeted by the cannibals doing a musical number. Oh, welcome to Terminus, where you'll be safe and sound. Cause we would never eat you, so please don't turn around. The amount of specific characters and head sculpts that had to get built for this special was probably more so than any other episode because it's all human actors as opposed to characters that we've done in other uh, other type of specials or shows. You know, whether we do a DC and it's Superman or Batman, these are human faces that we have to get the sculpting to be exactly right. And between that sculptors and our digital uh, 3D printing uh, department, um, they did an amazing job to, to yeah, capture the likenesses. I'm working on Glenn from Walking Dead, so we have his normal version and then we have his uh, slightly bashed in head version, so that's using reference images from the show itself and whatever we can find online to just go in and sculpt as close as possible to what it looks like in the show. Some of the work the puppeteers and the animators do on our show is insane how detailed it is and how much love and dedication is put into it. This is a human go! I want to eat him! Hello! I wouldn't want to do it for a minute. They are so good at it and so crafty at it. Even Sethi with the way he directs voiceover records or Shepard how he does it. It's a lot of work and I am in the fortunate position of it's like my night job. I get to come play and I get to leave. <laughs> Some walkers came. I drew them off and Sophia hit here, right? Sophia. Yeah, mama. Mr. Rick saved me. Rick, what the fuck? Rick, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> The best uh, way to be a successful director is just hire really great people and let them make you look good. I can't do any of those things that <laughs> that those that our crew does. I mean, you know, uh, they're insanely talented. It's it's so impressive to get to guide them. Everybody takes ownership of the show, which is kind of a beautiful thing, and um, and jumps in. It's time consuming to direct the show, but it's really just a lot of answering a couple of questions here and there and just letting people run with their their talents. Let me know when you're ready for me. I'll okay. sit. Sorry, I was, I was laughing. <laughs>
<laughs> <laughs> Do an outtake. <laughs>